today is gonna be back day, but what I'm gonna show today mainly, I might put back or like a little bit of the back day at the end of the video, but mainly what today is about is uh, the diet, full day of eating, what I'm eating in a day, show you what I ate today. I basically eat the same thing every day, you know, small, small tweaks here and there, but pretty much the same thing every day. I've been cutting, started at 232 pounds at about 6162 and I'm currently at about 210 so down 22 pounds on the cut how I got that heavy I decided to bulk I wanted to focus on like bulking up and strength I wanted to see how much I could bench I ended up getting my bench up to 405 hit an okay 410 bench right before the cut so that was what I did to put on weight, I put on all that weight and I was like, I'm getting too heavy. I was kind of concerned that I might be too far gone. I might've took the bulk way too far, but so far the first, you know, 20 pounds, it's come off easy. I think it'll keep going off easy. Been working out, been doing 20 to 30 minutes of cardio pretty much every day. I kind of took the weekend off from cardio this week, but I'll get right back to it. So I'm doing at least five days. I'll probably get back to six days, you know, in the next week of cardio. So for breakfast, what I had, had an energy drink, had a monster. This was my pre-workout meal too. So I had a monster, I had a protein bar. I usually don't eat protein bars. Usually I'd have oatmeal with breakfast, but I just kind of wanted to try out these protein bars. So I decided to have that. Then I had four hard boiled eggs. Usually I would just cook normal eggs but I decided to go with the four hard boiled because I found them in like a box. They sell them already cooked, already boiled. That way it's just super easy. If I don't feel like cooking, you just have it right out of the box. You can just eat the egg, you don't have to cook it. And if you do hard boil your own egg, you gotta deal with you know the shell, you gotta peel that off, it can be kind of a pain. So a very convenient option if I don't feel like actually cooking the eggs. I already have, you know, the the already hard boiled eggs that come cooked already. So I had those today, that was breakfast, then I hit back. So I've already got my workout in for the day. Back and abs, I've been hitting my back workout and then I've been finishing with two ab exercises at the end. So that was today's workout. Meal two, let's go to meal two. I had, so this was post-workout, probably an hour or so after my workout. I had a serving of cottage cheese with about 100 grams cooked of rice. I just weighed it out cooked, 100 grams. Put those together in a bowl. Rice doesn't really taste like anything, and then you get that cottage cheese. So fine to combine them, get some a little bit of protein, get some fats. I've been having cheese in my diets for fats. You don't want to cut the fats out. Those are kind of needed, so you get some fats, some proteins, some carbs from the rice. Meal two, this is what I would consider my lunch. For lunch, I went with ground beef. One serving ground beef with another 100 grams of rice. 100 grams of rice seems to be enough. I'm not, I think it's less than a serving. It is less than a serving if I like weighed it out. And then, cause it's a quarter of a cup or I don't remember how many grams uh, raw before you cook it. So I usually cook about probably about eight servings at a time. And then I just kind of, you know, meal prep it out, put it in containers, weigh it out. I do like the hundred. So I think a actual serving cooked would be more like over 150 or around 150. So I'm having about two thirds of a serving of rice to give you an idea. But you know, just protein, a little bit of carbs, that's lunch. Then next is gonna be kind of like my between uh, my between lunch and dinner snack, if you will, or you can call it a meal, but three rice cakes and a cheese stick. You know, I probably will cut dairy out if I need to at some point, and dairy is not the best thing for you. It's not the best thing for me, but I think cheese is okay. No carbs. Of course, it has like 80 calories, I think, and you know, fats, a tiny bit of protein, and the rice cakes, just, you know, getting your calories in, just a little something to eat, a little carb, a little calorie. I think they're 40, 40 calories each. 
So three times 40, 120, plus the cheese stick, 80. That's like a 200 calorie little snack or meal or whatever you want to call it. So that's what I had. Next, now normally, because it's a weekend, so I worked out in the morning, but normally that would be like my pre-workout snack right there. Whatever I choose to have there. And it's basically the same thing. It's usually rice cakes and cheese stick. Either that or if I hadn't had oatmeal yet, sometimes I'll have like oatmeal. But today, that's what I went with. Final meal and snack. I had one serving of grilled chicken breast. That Actually, I think it's more than a serving. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't weigh it out. I just kind of like portion it out. But probably a little over a serving of the grilled chicken breast. Good protein. Uh, my protein sources in terms of like meat protein sources that I've been having lately, you know, just the chicken breast. I've been having the grilled chicken breast. I've been having ground beef or ground turkey. That's what I've been having for my meats. And of course, you know, eggs too. That's not a meat, but it is a protein. I usually don't have like protein. I never have protein powder anymore. And it's like rare for me to have a protein bar. Like I said, I just wanted to try them. So normally I have no like protein things that aren't like a meat or like an egg or something like that. But today a little different. And of course you'll see some popcorn there. Popcorn's pretty low calorie. Now that's like, it's 120 calories per serving. Now this is more than a serving. This is Probably like a little over a serving and a half, which is around 200 or a little over 200 calories. So not bad. And then, you know, with that at night, I can just kind of have the popcorn with me. I can just snack on it. I don't have to eat it all at once. And that way I don't feel hungry before bed. I can just snack on the popcorn and that, that works really good. You don't feel hungry. It's like a lot of uh, it's like a lot of popcorn for not a lot of calories, so it's all it's a great snack to have on a cut. If you you just gotta look at the nutrition info and find one that's like lower calorie. This this one's the lowest calorie I think. This brand I can't remember the brand. I'd have to look, but it is a good popcorn. It's a good snack, and this is give or take. Pretty close to what I eat almost every single day. I've lost 22 pounds so far. It's all about consistency. I've been having one to two cheat meals per week, almost always on the weekend. I've been very disciplined during the week. And then, you know, you get to the weekend and maybe I run out of meal prep or something. So I'll have uh, like an in and out or something like that. Or what else have I had for a cheat meal? Some ice cream, something like that. That'll be like my cheat meals. As long as I don't get too carried away. Like if I get too carried away, then after the weekend, I'll come in weighing like four, three, four pounds heavier. And then that sets me back, you know, two days. And that could be two days of progress. Like I said, a 210 right now, I could probably weigh like 205. But I've had those cheat meals and I've still been able to lose a pound every day to every other day. I think on average, I'm losing it every other day just because of the cheat meals. But after like I get two days into the week, I get that three pounds or so that I put on. I get back to the weight that I was before and then I lose like a pound a day. So I'm losing like four, four pounds a week on average, I think. I'm not sure exactly how long I've been cutting, but it's pretty close to that. So that's what I eat in a day on the cut. We're losing weight. We're still, we still got some weight to lose. Still got to get shredded. I think another month or so, if I can stay consistent, start to look pretty shredded. I can kind of see some like little veins and things that are almost ready to poke through. So we're, we're making progress. I'm making progress. I'm doing it. And I'll show you a few things with back day. Good back workout, good back and abs, but I only record a few, a few sets of the back exercises. So show you the back and that'll be it for today's video tomorrow i got what do i even do after back now yeah legs tomorrow i got legs i haven't recorded a leg day in a, in a while so i don't know if i'll do that or not probably not so the next one will probably be my chest day i usually just show chest but i am hitting chest and calves 
that's the split chest and calves then back and abs shoulders arms legs repeat working out every day usually i'll have like a random rest day where i can't work out or don't feel like working out or whatever so i have been going six days a week i could easily go seven if it works out but i think i've gone six days a week for the last few weeks so that's kind of how it's been working out just the consistency trying different things keeping the diet good staying disciplined and you know really spread the food out too because you can eat like six times a day if you want you just got to keep it spread out and eat the right things so that's the diet the summer cut summer shred diet Wow. <sighs> 